Let's go, we re- re- roll it. So this is um, another episode of the Underground Podcast. Without our co-guest, Zach Gaunt, where is he right now? I think he's working, actually. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, so another episode without Zach. We are talking about, of course, the Michael Jackson shenanigans. I haven't actually seen the document. Well, not about the documentary, of course. I've seen the two, the two parts of the documentary. Came out Wednesday and Thursday or something. You haven't seen it. So we've got both perspectives, end of the perspectives. But you know, like, the general, like, thing of, like, basically he's just been accused of being, like, a proper, like, full-on pedo. Mm. But, like, obviously everyone's heard the same. The, the, everyone's always heard about him, like, being, like, a weirdo anyway. But like in this, they like I felt sick watching it. Like and everyone else says it as well on Twitter. Like it was just the detail they went into it about like what these, these so these two people. I can't remember what the names were. Let's just call them like Dave think, and Bob or something. I think one of them was called like Wade something. Yeah, yeah Wade. Like, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Wade. Wade. <clears throat> I don't know what second name is, but like, I haven't watched it. But I've just seen a lot. Stuff if about you need, you need to watch it. But yeah. like, are you gonna watch it? Definitely will. Oh, you have to watch it because it's like don't want to watch. it doesn't. I don't think it gives you a, a biased opinion because like I went in it just like open minded. Mm. So like, I'm not just gonna. Uh, look, one thing you do got a thing as well is that they're ve- it's very manipulative. So off the bat, I think like, I feel like a lot of it is fake. Mm. Like the way he was acting. That's what I heard as well. Like, yeah, yeah. Apparently, it's there was yeah, a part where well. like there was it the mum or something was talking about it. It's like if you if your son has allegedly been like. Um, like ra- raped and all this when younger, like yeah, child you, abuse. I heard she was like, talking about like, joyfully and like Yeah, she was laughing, laughing and, and like, like, if you're talking about something that happened, a traumatic event to your son, you're gonna be like breaking down in tears, mm. like shaking or whatever. And like, they they done a bit, little bit of what they've done in like the Jake Paul series, if anyone was, any of the YouTube heads watching with the, um, with the Shane Dawson series, where like, they kept on showing these same pictures. And in my mind, it was almost like they were like, hit, do you know like people, there's like hidden messages and shit. Mm. Learning in, like, we, we learned that in like English once. Like it was like, they were showing the same pictures, almost like the same pictures, like zooming in on them, mm. almost like to like hypnotize or like just tell the reader like, oh yeah, he is a pedo or whatever. Mm. And but like, I'm not saying that he, he could. F- but first thing is that whether he's a pedo or not, I've heard this from loads of people like Jack May and all that. It is weird that like he had, well, if it was true that he had like he was about 40 years old or whatever, mm. and he had pe- he had kids at like seven sleeping around his house. Mm. Whether the, if it, like if you were sleeping around his just house in another room, and I, th- I think that's sort of validated. But if it, they were saying it slept in his well, bed, they slept in, what in his bed? Yeah, with and him. I'm not, I don't want to go into too much detail in it because you got to keep it PG. But they were saying <laughs> loads of things like that. It started off as like I don't. It, it's, it's gonna sound really weird and uncomfortable, like that Michael Jackson like rubbing like their like private parts and stuff of the kids, and then it went to like as the days go past, like he then just started just penetrating them. It's disgusting. Shit like that. Mm. But I think. Yeah, Wait, who the, was saying that? Was that the. Um, just both of the bo- both of the. Both when the I say boys, boys and the men now, but mm. like, they were just saying it. And my thing about this is that it's Michael Jackson, and it's like, how big is Michael Jackson? At the time, they, they, their excuse was, oh, we was, we was just young, we didn't know what. Like, you know what's like. From, maybe from seven, yeah, maybe you don't know what's right and wrong, but when mm. you get to like a teenager, you should think, okay, I've, I've just been. Sexually abused was for seven years, from like seven to fourteen. But well, that's how long it was going on? Yeah, for? seven years. Like always, every single day they would come over to uh, sleep over Michael Jackson's house, or like go on tour with Michael Jackson. And this was apparently this was the, around the time of like when he was doing his bad tour mm. and things like that, and all these other albums. Yeah, I was thinking at Michael Jackson's peak, like nothing got well, something got said. Yeah, people were just saying he's weird or whatever, and he hangs around with kids and stuff. Yeah, but a lot of people are saying that's because he didn't have a childhood. You know how like obviously yeah, yeah, with his yeah. dad. And he has to be a child, which is like, it, it's always a bit, it, it can be weird, like people were like, Michael Jackson is weird in that <laughs> sense, yeah. but I still don't think it, it takes away anything away from his, um, his actual, like, he's amazingly talented, of course. Yeah, but like, like that lot, thing with New Zealand, like about them apparently, yeah. um, that New Zealand DJ uh, not playing his music. Yeah, anymore, yeah, they, right. they stopped playing his music well right on the radio, I think. But do you know what happened? Mm. I think, do you know, because everyone was protesting in London. And in America as well. Well, there's been protests recently. Yeah, yeah, there's been protests. There's a big one in London, and, and obviously there are probably bigger ones in America as well. Mm. And like saying, um, innocent, do you know, have you seen that picture? It's just like Michael Jackson. It just says, oh, like, yeah, innocent. innocent, yeah. Yeah. And it's got that, like, people like, obviously, well. people, I mean, the, the thing is, like, if you are a Michael Jackson fan, like, I, both of us are Michael Jackson fans, yeah. this, but like, I feel like you can't just go into watching it and thinking, okay, whatever they say is just completely wrong, because obviously you do have to think realistically. Mm. But, yeah, I just feel That's like at that, that, that time they would not they would they would come out then, mm. and like, also if it did happen, I think it is the mum's fault as well because the mum even said like 
The mum let it happen. Like, the mum let your own yeah, son. Yeah, I'm confused. Speak. Like, why did they? It's very weird. And the dad as well. Like that's just so weird. Like, why not... would you let your kids like yeah. at that age? If it was apparently at like seven years old, why would you let them just go and sleep? Like it doesn't matter like if he's famous or not. Yeah. Like why would you invite them? I, I think it was a clever. It was a clever. To, it was a clever um, move. Uh, in my opinion, in my that. opinion, it was a. It was a. It was a big money grab because like I'm at, the amount of how many I don't know how much millions are gonna get out of it. But like after it's all done, mm. but like. I think I, I just feel like it's, you know, it's a lot like, of acting. You know, like that he went to trial like for this. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah years ago. And, and apparently like, he paid them out back then. Really? Yeah. I know, okay, I didn't. I didn't hear that. Yeah. But like, I think there was a lot of acting. There's a lot of parts <clears> where like the two men. Well, I keep saying boy because they, <laughs> yes, everyone's a boy one time. The two men, they were, they were just, um, they just seemed like it. It didn't seem as genuine. Like I feel like you, if you're talking about something like that happened to you, they were just casually talking about it. And if mm. it. At that point, t- time, thought it was just normal and okay. But I don't know, I think it's weird. If they came out then, they would have got like a lot of money, but they mm. just didn't. And apparently they went, to, and you know, uh, what's his name from Home Alone? Macaulay. Yeah, yeah Macaulay is. Culkin. Yeah, Macaulay Culkin. Uh, he, he, sl- he was like, as in, he went around Michael Jackson's house loads and he was like yeah. a big fan of him. Yeah. And he never, even said in the document, it was weird, they, they added that in the documentary at the end, just on the screen. It was just a black screen, it had white writing, like a type thing. It just said, Macaulay Culkin uh, was with Michael Jackson for so many years, but he never said anything. Mm, exactly. But I think they put that in them to manipulate it to feel like okay, we're not biased or whatever. But mm. he he didn't say anything. He just said Michael Jackson was a great person. But they do make it so bad, like the way to the extent that they're going. I think it literally the what, first. Do you reckon it's biased then? It's. I think it's very. It's very. It's very biased. But because obviously. First of all, like I think the whole thing is stupid because he's not even here to defend himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think what's going to happen is that I think my friend <clears> Thomas told me this, maybe my dad, that like I think they're, they're his family, Michael Jackson's family, are like making a documentary because like then they haven't showed Michael Jackson's side. Like mm-hmm. do you know all the other Michael Jackson documentaries and films, they mm-hmm. showed Michael Jackson's life, but they've just showed the life of him and not Michael mm-hmm. Jackson. So I guess it's a bit biased of that, but. I think overall, uh, apparently the streams have gone up of Michael Jackson's music. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw Because I, yeah. I, I went on to YouTube Music the other day, like, like as you do, on my phone, and the top three, like, on the, on the homepage, if you know, the top three things were, like, mm. Michael Jackson songs. So I'm not really sure about that. Honestly, I saw what, this photo. I haven't, watched, I haven't obviously watched the documentary, but, like, I've been seeing a lot of stuff on it on Facebook, because, like, that's where you mm. get a lot of new current news going on now. And I saw this photo of... The two boys. Yeah. And you know Michael Jackson, like just before he died, he made this like documentary called This Is It. Yeah, yeah. Have you, have you watched that? that? No, I haven't watched that's, it. That's a good one as well. And apparently they were at the premiere for that, so while he was still alive. And then if you're like making all these accusations and like everything, but about him. Yeah, because they like, still he... made these accusations years ago, but it just didn't come through. Like, but they didn't. They, don't, they didn't go into this debt. They didn't make a documentary. Mm. But, but like, yeah. but like they were at his um, premiere, like all like happy and like. Yeah. Like all of this, like just before he died, but then no, they want to. Oh, I've got to say though, like if for people who like, they're good liars. Like the way they've, they've done documentary, like if you didn't know who he, if you somehow didn't know who Mark Jackson was, <laughs> and, and but, like if you just didn't know anything about anything and you just watched it, you'd think that he he's, he's just straight up a, a paedophile. But they don't have, they don't have a good job of that. I think that for years they probably planned this and like planned acting, all said the same story. Mm. Probably like the acting is like. It's, it's, it's like, you can just tell it's acting, you know, you can just tell something's just not genuine. Mm. Like the way he just like looked around and things like that, it just didn't seem like really authentic. I just I just think like that, that a big thing as well is that if it happened that many years ago, or like something would, like if he kept on hooking up, when I say hook, it sounds just weird, if he kept on doing these sexual things, having sex with him, mm-hmm. like from that age for seven years, the, how no one like found out like, even a bit, yeah, and, and it got leaked. It's like mm. ridiculous, especially someone that big. Because apparently they would do it like every single night, and mm. it's just disgusting. But like, and like every time their mum would like walk in the room, they would have to quickly get changed and stuff like that. Mm. It, it just didn't seem. It just it seemed a bit like a bit, a bit too fake, in my opinion. Yeah, look, this is that post which I was talking about. So it's saying, uh, yeah. wait, it's with me. It'll be on yeah, screen now, by the way. The post. There's a photo of MJ and. Yeah. No, there's a photo of the two oh, accusers. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the guy there in the white, right? Yeah. yeah. There's a photo of the two accusers in that at the premiere of This Is It in October 2009. This is when MJ is dead. Yeah, that's uh, that's way past when they like when they even they came out about it. Mm. 
And it's saying here they're eating popcorn, willingly attending an event of a person who abused them. And the guy that's made the post is calling them a liar and all of this. Yeah. Saying that they fabricated the um, whole documentary. Mm. Both of the stories have changed apparently drastically in the last five years after failed multiple after uh, multiple failed lawsuits. That's that's the thing. I, I don't think I think what's gonna happen now is like I think if think if you if you're that gullible to believe everything that happens, then I think you just need to reevaluate your life. <laughs> Look at that picture there. It's like, is it okay to listen to Michael Jackson music? Yeah, like if you watch documentaries, it's almost like if you didn't watch it, you wouldn't have known anyway. Like it's it's a it's a it's a scandal. It's a scandal. A scandal. Also, a, a, a big part of this is that if you're ever if there's anything that's going to go to law, the main thing they're worried about is evidence. You need like con there's no concrete evidence at all. Everything, if you watch the whole documentary, it's all mm. about what they say. Mm. And yeah, it makes sense what they say, but it's like, it's just a, just a lie. Like, there's no, there's no like videos, there's no pictures, there's no voice, like, no, there's nothing, there's actually mm. nothing. So like, the, all it is, is like, they just show pictures of like, when they have taken a picture, like normally. Mm. So it's like, it's not, it's not really validated anything they're saying, really. It's, it's not, if you like, in the court of law, you have to back up with evidence. There's no mm. concrete evidence at all. So. I don't think that has much legs to stand on. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, that was a post, isn't it? Mm. Facts don't lie, people do. Yeah, I saw that on a bus. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah people like. Do you know like what's what is his fans called? Wacko or fans or whatever. Like Jack, the Jackson, the Jackson Army. Yeah, like <laughs> the ones that are like proper die-hard ones. Like they, they're gonna go to extreme lengths. Mm. Like the, people are like, will just they're probably camping out there still now. Honestly, look. Oh yeah, that a guy. Of, that, yeah, Louis what did he say? If you can't see that Michael Jackson was a pedophile after watching so and so's film, you are being willfully blind. And if you are campaigning against it, you are actively colluding in the silencing of victims. That, mm. that guy's a famous guy about yeah, those documentaries, yeah, yeah. isn't it? I don't like I don't him. I don't even like him. Like him. He deserves a slap. A lot of mm. a lot of celebrities got on the on the thing, but like. I actually feel like, do you know, because just how the internet is now, a lot of people just say things just to, just for like clout or just mm. like just just for like a mean point of view. Like the amount of people, as a joke, mm. like they were just t making jokes out of it when it's not really a joking matter, really. And they were just saying like, oh, like making fun of it is like, oh, he's a paedophile and stuff like that. I feel like I don't know. They're just sort of mo mocking it when they, they probably didn't even watch all of it. Yeah, what's his family said about it? Uh, well, yeah, his family's probably devastated about it. The thing is, like, in, they they make it so believable. Like, even the, the mum at the end of it, I think, was like crying and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, he, at one point, yeah, he was fine talking about the whole thing, and then in the second part, he was just like, "Oh, I'm sh I'm shaking." <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> I didn't really understand that part. But I feel like as well, while it's like while this whole by Josh <laughs> yeah, American I mean, axes, like, that's we do it all on this channel. I feel like as well from Michael Jackson's point of view. First of all, it's weird to do that, but not even that. Like, obviously, there are pedos out there which mm. somehow exist, but it's like for him, for him to be on his bad tour. That's like his prime mm. of like Michael Jackson. Like, what he doesn't have time to be doing this. Like, he <laughs> he like what I'm mm. actually being serious. Like, you wouldn't even like if you're if you're that big, you wouldn't have time to do this. And it's just so much to risk at that point. Mm. It's not like it's like oh a celebrity, then you get washed out and then they do drugs or some mm. shit. It's like he's at his pin. He's at his pinnacle of his career. Why would he do that, like, t knowing that there's a chance of him, everything just getting scrapped yeah. from him? And as well as that, he's like, he's touring, he's like, how does he have that much time? Mm -hmm. And he was, he was acting like every single night of, like, most of the tours he slept with him, which I thought was weird as well. That's I was thinking as well, like, when he had that, when he had, the, and when he said as well that he switched from boy to boy, so it was like, it was him, it was like them two boys, then it was like Macaulay Culkin, which doesn't have any legs to stand because he even came out and said there's nothing. Mm, then there were some other boys, he said every 12 months, every year, there was like a new boy, which is just weird. Like responding to allegations, I remember watching it, like, he's got, he's Oh like yeah, was it the red... one that he's on that podium thing? He's like doing a speech, right? Yeah, I was to... Yeah. He's like, wearing like a red shirt. If we, if we can, it's, it's uh, another conspiracy theory, going down that route, is that Michael Jackson still alive? Because he was at his own funeral, have you heard that before? What do you mean he was at his own have funeral? You, have you not seen that? That's been going on for years, you know that. There's, like, there's a video of like him being at his own funeral, like with a hood up, like like not hood, you know, like, hoods to funerals, but like with like a suit and a hat, and he's like sitting right at the back. My deepest gratitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. I am doing well and I am strong. As you may already know, after my tour ended, I remain out of the country, undergoing treatment for a dependency on pain medication. This medication was initially prescribed to see the excruciating pain that I was suffering after recent reconstructive surgery on my scalp. There have been many disgusting statements 
made recently concerning allegations of improper conduct on my part. These statements about me are totally false. As I have maintained from the very beginning, I am hoping for a speedy end to this horrifying, horrifying experience to which I have been subjected. I shall not in this statement respond to all of the false allegations being made against me, since my lawyers have advised me that this is not the proper forum in which to do that. I will say that I am particularly upset by the handling of this mass matter by the incredible, terrible mass media. At every opportunity, the media has dissected and manipulated these allegations to reach their own conclusions. I ask all of you to wait and hear the truth before you label or condemn me. Don't treat me like a criminal, because I am innocent. Don't you think, like, as well, like, um, if you're, when you, when anyone that's winning or, like, just doing really well, everyone's just going to start to slander them. Mm. But, like, I don't know, that, that seemed like quite a sincere apology. I don't know. I think, I think like, if you're in his position, it's just probably tough if he just didn't do anything at all. Mm. And everyone's just saying that about you. But, yeah. But I don't get that thing. Do they, in the um, documentary, do they talk about that Reaver Alago thing about him having to take those pictures of, like, all his private areas? Do but they, they talk yeah. about that in the, um, in, in the documentary? They added that small clip when he said they had to take pictures of me. But, like, I... Um, oh, I think I don't, I don't even know what it's for. Maybe that was just for that just for what the court. I don't, I don't know. Well, why did they take pictures of him of him naked? I don't know what it was for. I don't even know. Nah. <laughs> or know. May, maybe they were trying to prove that he was lying about it. I don't know, mate. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's actually so many theories that he's still alive. Because if you think about it, have you watched? There's another do um, a film that are, are like just a normal one of him mm. of like his last three years living. And like from his bodyguard's point of view, mm. and like it's a really like, he doesn't paint him in a bad way or anything. He's just a normal mm. one. And like his last three years were like the worst years of his life. Why? Because like di like the famous the like or... and not 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 that. It's just a lot like just being Michael Jackson was just like people probably thought, oh that's sick, but like it's just to live that life. It's just probably the worst. Thing he was he, in what, debt. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was in so much debt. Yeah. He was in so much debt. As he was, well, he was, it, was, it was with loads of people, but mm. you, everyone thought he was just feel for rich, which he was, mm. but he was in so much debt as well. Like He, he was going to lose, or he did eventually lose Neverland and things like mm. that. But he made a lot of it back, though. Like, like when he died. Yeah, yeah he, had he, to, he, had to so keep, uh, he had to keep touring. That's what he had to do to make money. Because mm. he made a lot, a lot of money from that. And obviously just from music sales anyway. Mm. What was I gonna say though? Yeah, there's so many conspiracy theories of saying that he's alive. Because mm. if you think about it, if you're him and you just want to completely cancel the, the, your name and everything like that, mm. you can just fake. I'm not saying the death is fake, but like, mm. you go, we'll probably up to open up this in another podcast. But just like, you, imagine that you could actually, wild, he could be living underground, like Bin Laden was that time. Like, <laughs> remember that? All right, that's probably a bit, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Is he guilty? Is he, is he actually done the things that, is he, oh no, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> right, that's been it for today's video. Please comment down below if you think he's guilty or not. Uh, my whole verdict and probably your verdict is that there's not enough evidence to support anything yeah. he's done. I would I would definitely go watch the, uh, do both documentaries. If you're over the age of 16, I feel like, or like, in it, because I, mean, mm. I, I would if I was younger, I would not watch that. To be honest, I, I didn't even know it was going to be that bad. Well, it's going to be that graphic, you mean? Yeah, yeah, it's, mm. it's very, very graphic. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment down below. Just pester, or everyone say, yeah, Zach, get on the podcast. Pester Zach to come back on. Because <laughs> he's not doing this podcast. We need to do this weekly. Like, we see all the other podcasts doing well. Impulsive, True Geordie, mm. Joe Rogan. Adam 22. Jump. Oh, yeah, yeah. No jumper. No jumper. Oh, they're all doing well. We need to do well. So comment down below what other topics you want us to discuss, and we'll do that. And um, we'll see you in the near future, in a bit. Mm.